Here's George Foreman with InventHelp. Hi, I'm George Foreman. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at InventHelp. Call InventHelp today for free information. InventHelp has been helping inventors for more than 30 years and has sales offices nationwide. InventHelp can submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. If you have an idea and want to try to patent it and submit it to companies, you should call InventHelp today for free information. Listen, I can't guarantee a company will be interested in your idea, but I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put InventHelp in your corner. To get your free inventor's information, call 1-800-353-6490. That's 1-800-353-6490. Again, 1-800-353-6490. You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. Hey, this is John Preston, Marine Combat Veteran and Pacific Records Recording Artist. I just reaching out to have you check out our new album, Battle Cry, Sons of America's Heroes, an album featuring phenomenal other combat veteran artists like Scott Brown of the Scooter Brown Band, Brian Weaver, Rowdy Johnson, just an incredible mix of people. This is all veterans telling our stories and our lives, and we're giving 100% of our proceeds to the Valkyrie Initiative to help veterans and first responders integrate back into society. I, myself, I've battled with post-traumatic stress for many years and lost my own brother, a Marine Corps veteran, to suicide. I ask that you step with us and make this happen. We are in pre-order right now and release on March 17th. Go to iTunes, go to Amazon, bye, bye, bye. We plan on making the charts and making it at a very high level, and your support right now makes a difference. This is the release of my new song, Superman Falls, which is actually about the loss of my own brother, which happened last year. And I would love for everyone to check it out, to listen, and hopefully it'll make a difference in many lives. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. This is Slickery Trigger for Rebel Road Tactical. With proper care and feeding, your pistol will be ready when you need it there to save your life. Shouldn't your gear be that good? Whether you need a holster for comfortable everyday carry or a tough-as-nails holster for your next training course, Rebel Road Tactical has what you need. Check us out on the web at rebelroadtactical.com. Sometimes riders feel lost, unsure why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing into full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, offering manuscript critiques and line edits through a mentoring editorial style. We also offer assistance on generating a writer's bio for your websites. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services, visit blackwolfeditorial.com.
Here's George Foreman with InventHelp. Hi, I'm George Foreman. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at InventHelp. Call InventHelp today for free information. InventHelp has been helping inventors for more than 30 years and has sales offices nationwide. InventHelp can submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. If you have an idea and want to try to patent it and submit it to companies, you should call InventHelp today for free information. Listen, I can't guarantee a company will be interested in your idea, but I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put InventHelp in your corner. To get your free inventor's information, call 1-800-353-6490. That's 1-800-353-6490. Again, 1-800-353-6490. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. Well, hello, America. You ready for America off the rails? We've got a li- another little bit of break we've got to get out of the way. We'll be back here in just about 60 seconds to officially kick off the show. We've just decided we're going to change things up just a bit because there's a lot of commercials that play before you hear me talking. So we thought we'd give you a bit of a pre-intro intro. We're going to try this out for a few weeks, see if we like it. we got a lot to talk about tonight. Yep, that's right. It's 24 plus hours later, and I'm still laughing my ass off. Yes, I said it that way on purpose, so nobody yells at me for saying a dirty word. We We will be back here in just about 60 seconds. Stay tuned. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. Keep on doing what you do, Rick. You're my favorite host. Favorite host. Favorite host. Well, good evening, America. Again, this is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. We're coming to you live from KLRNRadio.com, where we're live every Monday through Thursday at 11 p.m. Eastern. Uh, now, we've had an interesting 24-plus uh, hours, you know, because the Democrats... You know, here's the interesting thing about the mindset of the Democrats, it, it, and this will kind of give you the tone of the show. So, for weeks, they've been telling us how they were going to be able to take this district in Georgia... For Congress because it was going to be a referendum against Trump. It was going to be a referendum against Trump because he's this terrible person. Look, I'm not necessarily disagreeing with the fact that he's probably one of the the least civilized presidents that we've had in my lifetime, but it doesn't change the fact that he is president. So they thought that just because the majority, uh, at least according to most of the polls, everybody is, dis- is dissatisfied with what he's been doing so far. So they really, really thought that they were going to be able to make this a referendum against Trump and turn a long-time red seat blue. 
and use that as a, as a tipping point to show the rest of the country, well, you know, we might have lost this election, but look what just happened here, and now we can build off of that. Well, we've got lots of, of stuff about that that we're actually going to talk about tonight because I've had a bit of an epiphany. And, of course, we're going to take the laps and make fun of the Dems uh, here in just a minute when we come back from the first break. We're going to dust off a song we haven't played in a while because it, it, it's worthy of being played again. Uh, unfortunately, we do have another break that we do have to get out of the, or do have to get the first break out of the way. And we need to work on getting that done here in just a few seconds. But I want to remind everybody that, again... Look at the meltdown of the left, because these the people that are supposedly the understanding ones, the kind ones, the ones that want to take care of everybody, the ones that are only interested in making sure that, that women are understood and accepted, they're now lashing out at a, a Republican woman who won a seat in Congress because they don't like her because she doesn't represent what they believe. But we'll talk about that and much, much more when we come back. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. We'll be back here in just about a minute or so. Stay tuned. They'll try me so. Hey folks, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Dr. Richard Harden. We are on the same mission, which is Waking Up America. We just have different paths. So stay tuned for some information on how you can keep up with Richard and all his work. Visit Richard's website at raharden.com. That's the World Wide Web at rahardin.com. At his website, you can see a summary of the six books he has written, where purchases may be made. He also has a link to 18 videos on YouTube and several blogs about Christian beliefs. If you prefer, visit amazon.com backslash Kindle and type in Richard Harden to see and purchase his books. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps stand ready to defend the American way of life. The few, the proud, the Marines. folks welcome back and it is wednesday i just realized i haven't done that yet it is wednesday june 21st 2017 it is the longest uh i believe this is the first official day of summer um i think it actually was supposed to have kicked off was it yesterday or today anyway i, I don't all i know is this is like the longest day of the year so sadly starting tomorrow the days will start getting shorter again i'm not really looking forward to that I, I, I'm older now, so I, I don't enjoy the summer heat as much, but I do like the longer days, I'm not going to lie. One of the things that I wish would have happened here locally in o Oklahoma, they were talking about doing away with daylight savings time and just leaving us on uh, eastern daylight year-round. I really wish they would have done that because I don't like the schedule changes, especially with doing the show as late as I have to do it right now. Uh, the good news is we seem to be slowly transitioning to making this a paying gig eventually, so maybe at some point I can actually move my show, or I should say a gig that pays more, like enough to actually pay my bills. Um, so hopefully we can tr uh, transition at some point to an earlier show, maybe even maybe get lucky enough to do a morning show someday, but we'll see. Um, not worried about it. Uh, it started as a hobby. It's transitioning to uh, less and less of a hobby. Uh, the station itself is now a an actual registered business, so um, we are going to continue to move forward with uh, operating it as such, and we are still looking to expand into new territories, so we will have to see how that goes. The reason I bring this up occasionally is for those of you who do listen, whether you're listening live, Memorex, through one of the rebroadcast sites, or uh, through iHeart, Stitcher, SoundCloud, FM Player, all of the other places that you can listen. I just want to t t uh, say, take a moment to, to say thank you for listening, because without you, I would still do this, but it's, it's more fun knowing that more and more of you are starting to listen. Um, 
And as the show continues to grow, I hope that you guys will do the same as I do for you. Um, even if I don't interact with you by name, I do actually usually say a prayer at least once or twice a day for those that take the time to listen to my show, because that's how much it means to me that you take the time to listen. If I know you personally or we've interacted, then I will also usually take the time to say a prayer for you and actually mention you by name. Uh, I don't usually do this on the air because I, I usually try to stay away from the religious stuff. But if you have a prayer need of any kind, I don't have an issue with putting you on my uh, everyday prayer list. So you can hit me up at rick at klrnradio.com and I will gladly add you to the list. Uh, it can be unspoken or if you want to specify whatever it is, it will not go any further than here. Um, now, that being said, we have a lot of stuff to talk about today. Um, of course, uh, again, last night was supposed to be a referendum against Trump. It was anything but... Um, and, but according to the left, I mean, you know, we've had reactions from the left that sounded anything, uh, from maybe something a lot like this. Dirty, perkish, hard to back, flat, important, fill a bucket, Martin, Perkaluma, Burton. And, you know, it's just, you know, the, 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 the yelling and the screaming and, and, and the bloviating and just the noise all the way around. And it's, it's just terrible. Um, and, and then, you know, you have you have the ones that, uh, you know, like Alyssa Milano, the morning after. I do want to know I... Woke up hungover, had no idea where she was, and realized that her tweeting probably helped destroy a political career. That's right, folks. If you are going to do anything in politics, if you ever notice Alyssa Milano start tweeting about your cause, just drop the ball and go home because you're not getting anywhere. Everything she supports lately dies on the vine. As a, Well, actually, you know what? As a matter of fact, Democrats, forget what I just said. Next time you're running, I want you to reach out to Alyssa Milano and tell her you want her support. Because everything she touches dies on a vine. And then, of course, we have the... Now, now the, the, the... This was... Dirty, the media. Perkish, hard to back, flat, important, fill a bucket, Martin, Perkaluma, Burton... That was Hollywood. Now here's liberal Twitter. This is all I've heard all day long and all I've seen on Twitter all day long. Oh my god, I can't believe we lost. And for anyone who's supporting this woman, you're supporting a bigot, which makes you a bigot too. Liberals, you, you, you've you lost some. You've lost a step. Because here's the thing. We used to care about the names you call us. At least I know I did. I don't anymore. Because you've done it one too many times. And the worst thing about it is, it doesn't hold any power anymore. Not for a lot of us, because we just don't care. And that honestly may be one of the things that it took me a little bit to figure out with Trump, because I have to admit, he rubbed me the wrong way a lot, and I'm still not a Trump fan. You guys know this, that have listened for a long time. I am not a diehard Trump supporter. I didn't ever buy a ticket to the Trump train. I did, however, realize at some point, specifically when he won the election, that it was kind of pointless to be never Trump at any longer, because that meant I would be basically effectively rooting for the iceberg. And I'm not going to be the guy sitting on the deck of the Titanic rooting for the iceberg. I'm going to call Trump out when he does something right. I'm going to or wrong. I'm going to I'm going to support him when he does something right, because that's what we should do to any sitting president, whether we agree with him ideolo ideologically or not. And it really is pretty much that simple. Sorry, I just realized I'm trying to promote some stuff, and I realized I was dropping the wrong links. All right, so there we go. Now. Uh, I mean, look, folks, it's simple. The first thing we need to do is realize that right now we are in the same situation that the Dems were eight years ago. We They were on the rising tide. Now it's our turn. But, but for those of you paying attention and you're playing the home game, let me see if maybe... Because I've noticed a lot of us that have been making fun of Nancy Pelosi lately and, you know, pointing out how she's slowly, single-handedly killing the Democratic Party. Democrats are finally starting to notice. So let me see if maybe I can get some Republicans that I also know uh, that pay attention to what's going on to pay attention to the words that are about to come out of my mouth. 
the reason Ossoff lost yesterday, the reason the Democrats are losing over and over again, is because everybody but them realizes that socialism sucks. So now you guys, 10 years later, are hopping onto the socialism train. We don't want or need socialized medicine. We don't want or need government-run health care. We want the government out of our lives. That is the point of living in a free country. Minimal influence from the government because we didn't want a monarchy. We also don't want an oligarchy. And right now that is basically what we have is an oligarchy. Whether anybody wants to admit it or not. We have centralized power in D.C. held by a few who are insanely rich were insanely rich before they got there and have found ways to capitalize. That, that's the thing, I guess, that makes me the most crazy about all these people in Washington, D.C. right now that are screaming, Oh my God, Donald Trump's doing all these things to enrich himself. What have all you asshats done the entire time you've been in Congress? What have all you media moguls in D.C. done the entire time you've been in Congress? You've been moving, shaking, making deals, and finding ways to make more money. So... What, all of a sudden it's bad that the president is doing it too? I mean, what, are you guys trying to hide something from the American people? Do you really think we're this stupid? I mean, look, I get it. There are things that I have a problem with, like the fact that he did not put his holdings in a blind trust before he was sworn in. That has been a long-standing thing that every other president of means has done for basically as far back as you can look. So I have a problem with a lot of the fact that his, his family is still running the business while they are having access to the White House. This is a problem for me. I've never said it wasn't. But what I have a problem with right now is the fact that he's constantly under attack from the left. No matter what he does, no matter what he says, everything is wrong. Everything is terrible. We're all going to die. And it's because he sold everything to the Russians. Within 30 seconds of Ossoff losing last night, I started seeing Democrats tweeting about how the Russians cost them the election in Georgia. Let me tell you what cost you the election in Georgia. But sadly, we got to take a break. So when we come back, I'll tell you why the Democrats lost the election in Georgia. It's pretty simple, but they just haven't figured it out yet. We'll be right back here in about three minutes. Stay tuned. George Foreman with Invent Health. Hi, I'm George Foreman. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at Invent Help. Call Invent Help today for free information. Invent Help has been helping inventors for more than 30 years and has sales offices nationwide. Invent Help can submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. If you have an idea and want to try to patent it and submit it to companies, you should call Invent Help today for free information. Listen, I can't guarantee a company will be interested in your idea, but I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put Invent Help in your corner. Get your free inventor's information. Call 1-800-353-6490. That's 1-800-353-6490. Again, 1-800-353-6490. The following message can contains a special offer for listeners of this station. Are you a man over 40? Are you constantly looking for the nearest bathroom? Do you wake up multiple times a night to use the bathroom? Right now, Perfect Prostate is sending out free bottles of their groundbreaking new formula to listeners of this station. Perfect Prostate formula was developed by medical doctor Mitchell Fleischer, and its ingredients have been clinically studied to reduce your frequent nighttime bathroom visits and promote healthy urine flow. Right now, preferred customers get their first bottle of Perfect Prostate absolutely free. There's nothing to lose. Perfect Prostate is guaranteed to reduce that constant urge to use the bathroom, especially at night, and promote healthy urine flow. Don't wait. Call now for your free bottle. Just pay shipping and processing. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Supplies are limited. One free bottle per household. Call now. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. 
Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 of pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Every day. We were all right for a while. We held it all for a while. But on election night, lost Senate seats left and right on fable base. It failed to show. And though it hurt like hell. All right, folks, welcome back. All right, look, how many more excuses am I going to have to play that song? We've had it in the library now for months and months and months and months, and every time we think, you know, it's probably time to come up with a new parody, the Democrats do something crazy and we have an excuse to play one of the old ones all over again. So I promised you when we came back from this break, we would actually start talking about why it is the Democrats lost uh, the election. Sadly, because I realized I was going to play that song in between the... uh, the first segment, the segment, the second segment, I kind of forgot to do that. Um, the, sadly, I've almost run out of time before we got to take the bottom of the hour break. So that means we really don't have much time to get into it yet. So let's change topics for just a second because we can kind of throw this one in pretty quick. Um, so something interesting happened at The View. Um, apparently, they have uh, decided to, uh, well, I, mean, I don't know. Apparently, they may need to change their name to The View Obstructed by our colon. Because they've uh, spent most of the day trying to pitch the idea that the Democrats actually didn't lose in Georgia. We'll talk about that when we come back to. But first, 
We are going to, as soon as we get back from this particular break, talk about why it is that the Democrats have have continued to lose. And we've touched on it a little bit. The biggest thing, and one of the things that I want to try to get across to the Republicans out there, notice I'm saying Republicans, not necessarily conservatives, is the Democrats are starting to lose because they've lost their message. They've lost their messaging. They're, they're the party of hate, and they have been for a while. They've just managed to shift it over to us for quite some time. But they have become so unhinged over Donald Trump winning the presidency that they've let the mask slip. And now that they've let the mask slip, it will be a while before they can recover. But that's only if the Republicans remember that the other main reason that they're losing is not necessarily because they're hateful, spiteful people, but it's because socialism sucks. And as a party, the Republicans need to remember that because right now they're moving on the same track as the Democrats, which sadly we've kind of always known that they've wanted to do. We've just always listened to the rhetoric that they tell us. But we'll talk about this and much, much more when we get back from the bottom of the hour break. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. Stay tuned. We've got lots more to talk about. Don't go away. The following message contains a special offer for listeners of this station. Are you a man over 40? Are you constantly looking for the nearest bathroom? Do you wake up multiple times a night to use the bathroom? Right now, Perfect Prostate is sending out free bottles of their groundbreaking new formula to listeners of this station. Perfect Prostate formula was developed by medical doctor Mitchell Fleischer, and its ingredients have been clinically studied to reduce your frequent nighttime bathroom visits and promote healthy urine flow. Right now, preferred customers get their first bottle of Perfect Prostate absolutely free. There's nothing to lose. Perfect Prostate is guaranteed to reduce that constant urge to use the bathroom, especially at night, and promote healthy urine flow. Don't wait. Call now for your free bottle. Just pay shipping and processing. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Supplies are limited. One free bottle per household. Call now. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 of pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps stand ready to defend the American way of life. The few, the proud, the Marines. Hey folks, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Dr. Richard Harden. We are on the same mission, which is Waking Up America. We just have different paths. So stay tuned for some information on how you can keep up with Richard and all his work. Visit Richard's website at raharden.com. That's the World Wide Web at rahardin.com. At his website, you can see a summary of the six books he has written, where purchases may be made. He also has a link to 18 videos on YouTube and several blogs about Christian beliefs. If you prefer, visit amazon.com backslash Kindle and type in Richard Harden to see and purchase his books. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. 
Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. If you're 85 or All right, folks, welcome back. This is America Off the Rails. Man, I can't believe we're already halfway through the show. All right, so as promised, why did the Democrats lose in Georgia? Well, first of all, the Democrats, you know, they've had this longstanding tradition of busing in voters. Now, I'm not saying necessarily busing them from, you know, other counties or all the things that everybody jokes about that they do. But they do this, re- they do this really good ground game for get out the vote. Um, well, of course, and then there's all the dead voters and the illegal voters. But, you know, they have a decent ground game for get out the vote. But for once, instead of busing in voters in, in Georgia's 6th District, they, they decided to uh, instead. I think we have the the squelch that was suddenly in my ears under control. It makes it really hard for me to concentrate when that occasionally happens. But anyway, so in the 6th District, they had this novel idea that they were going to bring in a candidate from outside of the district. First of all, I've never... I mean, I'm going to have to double-check Oklahoma law, but I'm pretty sure in Oklahoma you have to live in the district that you're running in. So that seemed a little weird to me to begin with. Then there was all the outside interference, like the fact that the Hollywood elites... In, in Georgia, pumped in millions and millions and millions of dollars. Planned Parenthood, which honestly, this is something that really, really irritates me. Planned Parenthood donated like three quarters of a million dollars or more into this particular campaign. Now, bear in mind, P- Planned Parenthood is, is the one that goes around telling everybody how broke they are and how they can't exist without government funding and how much we need to have them because they help with prenatal care and they do this and they do that, which happens about 0.09% of the time, by the way, if you actually look at the real numbers. But so they're basically taking money out of your and my pocket to then turn around and give it to political candidates who I don't necessarily espouse especially in the case of Ossoff. I'm not even in that particular state. So they're taking federal tax dollars, pouring them into local elections. Is it that there, there, there just seems to be something kind of wrong with that? I'm pretty sure if we look, and I didn't have time to do it before the show, but I'm pretty sure if we look, we can probably find a rule against that somewhere. I'm just saying, because it just, you know, that that... You know, to use one of those phrases that I don't much care for, but in this instance it fits, this doesn't pass the smell test. Because how is it that they can take federal money out of your and my pocket, you know, why, well, we need this funding. Really, you're, you've made a fortune off of selling baby body parts. Why do you need my money? That's question number one. Because let's just pull the punches with Planned Parenthood. And honestly, this was not part of the show. This was not where I was planning on going with this, but we're going to roll with it. Because let's pull the punches with Planned Parenthood for just one moment. How do you need my money when you are selling baby body parts for a fortune? And don't you dare come at me on Twitter and emails and everywhere else where you guys always do it. Oh, Rick, those videos that you're talking about, they were highly edited. Really? Go look on YouTube. You can find the whole video. All of the boring little minutia details where they talk about how, well, you know, th- this, this is how we do this, and this would be how we would do this, and th- it, it spells it all out. So look, again, I am, I am diametrically opposed to abortion, but I also understand that the genie can't really go back in the bottle because I don't want us to get to the point where we are again watching people or dealing with people with rusty coat hangers trying to terminate pregnancies and they wind up not only killing themselves but the child. I don't really want that to happen either. But at the same time, we don't need a baby body parts factory. And if for some reason the Democrats and Planned Parenthood think we do need a baby body parts factory, guess what? You don't need my damn money. Period. End of sentence. 
not only do you not need my money, you don't need, you don't need to have the ability to take my money and put it into local elections where you're trying to basically override the process there. This is why the Democrats lose. This is why I'm hoping they will continue to lose. But sadly, we have some very big name conservatives right now pointing out to the to the Democrats, you guys really should do something about Nancy Pelosi. Why are you telling them this? As long as the geriatric woman is at the head of the uh, the head of the party over there, because right now she is basically the head of their party because she's the highest ranking elected official the Democratic Party currently has. As long as she's the head of the party, we're going to win till the day she dies. Leave her alone. She's worthless. She doesn't even have the moral high ground to, to be griping right now like they're doing with the Republicans with their, oh my God, they're trying to pass a health care bill behind closed doors and not telling us what's there. Remember, got to pass it to see what was in it because I sure remember it. Now, I'm not happy about the way the Republicans are doing this either. I think they should have done exactly what they said that they were going to do, which is not revamp a health care bill, but get rid of the damn health care law because we don't need it. I don't want repeal and replace. You guys didn't run on repeal and replace. You ran on give us Congress and we will fix this. That didn't work. So then you ran on give us the White House and we will fix this. Now you've had the White House for going on 200 days. You still ain't fixed it. You're nowhere near fixing it because now you're figuring it out, figuring out that it's a political bargaining chip. You can give us little bitty pieces of it, and as long as we give, as long as you give us something that we want from it, you figure you can keep winning elections. This isn't about winning elections. This is about fixing the country. This is what drives me crazy about every single politician in D.C. right now. You are not thinking about what is best for the country. You are not thinking about what is best for John Q. Public. You are thinking about what is best to make sure that you get to maintain your power. That's why the Democrats are livid right now. That's why the Republicans are laughing right now. And we are still the ones stuck in the middle. Now, yes, it's been nice to take a victory lap. It's been nice to watch the last few special elections watching the Democrats getting spanked over and over and over again. Because they were the ones telling us for the last eight years that our time had passed that we were done, that we were a dying breed, that America didn't care about conservatism anymore, that America didn't even really care about America anymore because they were listening to the Democrats and the Democrats hate America and they know it and they don't even hide it anymore. And yet now here we sit and we are the ones winning elections right now. But are we, are we learning the important lessons from the elections that we're winning? That is the question. And I have to tell you, unfortunately, the very sad, unfortunate answer to that is I don't think that we are. But we will talk about that when we get back because we have got to take another really quick break. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. We will be back here in just about three minutes. Stay tuned. This station. Are you a man over 40? Are you constantly looking for the nearest bathroom? Do you wake up multiple times a night to use the bathroom? Right now, Perfect Prostate is sending out free bottles of their groundbreaking new formula to listeners of this station. Perfect Prostate formula was developed by medical doctor Mitchell Fleischer, and its ingredients have been clinically studied to reduce your frequent nighttime bathroom visits and promote healthy urine flow. Right now, preferred customers get their first bottle of Perfect Prostate absolutely free. There's nothing to lose. Perfect Prostate is guaranteed to reduce that constant urge to use the bathroom, especially at night, and promote healthy urine flow. Don't wait. Call now for your free bottle. Just pay shipping and processing. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Supplies are limited. One free bottle per household. Call now. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 
$3 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Men is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps stand ready to defend the American way of life. The few, the proud, the Marines. Hey folks, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Dr. Richard Harden. We are on the same mission, which is Waking Up America. We just have different paths. So stay tuned for some information on how you can keep up with Richard and all his work. Visit Richard's website at raharden.com. That's the World Wide Web at R-A-H-A-R-D-I-N dot com. At his website, you can see a summary of the six books he has written, where purchases may be made. He also has a link to 18 videos on YouTube and several blogs about Christian beliefs. If you prefer, visit Amazon.com backslash Kindle and type in Richard Harden to see and purchase his books. All right, folks, welcome back. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. I just realized I haven't done this tonight, so I want to give out a couple things real quick. If you like the show, you can follow along on Twitter by going to AOTR underscore host. If you have anything you want to communicate, you can usually communicate with me there, or you can find my professional Facebook page by going to Facebook, searching Rick Robinson, looking for the one with the cute little picture. It looks like the cartoon guy standing on the cover of Time magazine. I did that only because, first of all, I have a face made for radio. Second of all, it was a cute way to make the profile stand out because... There are lots of Rick Robinsons on Facebook. But anyway, uh, so not only that, but also want to give a quick shout out to the affiliates because I realized I haven't really done that tonight yet either. So we are available, of course, every uh, Monday through Thursday right here on the flagship station, KLRNRadio.com. We are available every Monday through Friday on the uh, Lanterns Radio Network at 8 a.m. Eastern. We're also available on the newly rebranded Talk America Radio Network. Uh, that is, and we air there Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. Eastern. And of course, we are available on the weekends on crndigitaltalk.com. On that particular network, we are currently beamed into a uh, approximately 11 million homes is their overall reach. Uh, we're currently in negotiations to start being moved over to their terrestrial platforms. So America Off the Rails is in the works to be placed into 200 terrestrial outlets. That being said, if you are looking for really reasonable advertising, because right now we're basically giving it, a, giving it a way to get a foot in the door, hit me up at rick at klrnradio.com, because right now we're just basically giving it away to get it, to get the cost covered to start getting us into those places. So give me a, get, get, shoot me an email, we'll work something out, um, and hopefully we can... Uh, find a way to make this happen because this is actually a really great opportunity that has just kind of fallen in our laps. Uh, we've I've been doing this now for a long time, and, and, but that's that's part of what it takes is you have to do this type of stuff for a very very long time, and then then eventually if you stay with it long enough and you don't give up, people start paying attention. Now I'm not saying that it's going to turn around overnight, and I'm not saying and I'm not doing this to try to brag. I, I do this for the same reason that I have a whole other group of folks that I've brought over to the station and I've been working with and now we have the station manager Ann who has taken over day to day runnings over here uh, to make things easier on me because for the last nine years I've pretty much been doing all of this myself and it's become uh, very very cumbersome uh, so that has made it easier for me to focus on basically mentoring and uh, working with the troops a little more so to speak and uh, speaking of which we had uh, if you missed it I encourage you to go back and check it out tonight we had one of our daytime hosts set in for uh, Mr. Dan Wright on the right side tonight and he did a bang up job Al from the Hardcore, Hardcore Patriot it was one of the first times I think he's been asked to sit in on a show and I think he was a little nervous about it and I, I can tell you he knocked it out of the park and I do encourage you to go, make sure you go back and listen to that one um, also, because we're down to just about, well, actually, we're down to exactly seven days. Polita Bunny is coming home. She's coming back to KLRNRadio.com. So I want to make sure everybody does understand that starting next week, 
we will now have what has uh, now become lovingly called the nickel plated day or nickel plated evening lineup right here on Wednesdays. That's because we have five folks and most of them are outstanding. We have Politibunny kicking off the lineup at 7 p.m. Eastern. We then roll straight into the conservative curmudgeon radio show at 8 Eastern. We then have um, Jesse's POV coming in at 9 Eastern. Then we have the right side coming in at 10 Eastern. And then, of course, the schlub of the network, me coming in at 11 Eastern on America Off the Rails. So that's right. Five hours of live content back to back to back to back to back. One of the only nights that we've actually done that where it's all basically going to be live. We have lots of content. Uh, most of it, are, a lot of it is coming in from other syndicated places, but we are getting more and more of our own live content, which is exciting as well. Okay, so I've done a lot more housekeeping and station ad- announcements that I had planned on doing. So so we've talked about the, the, the two main reasons the Democrats keep losing. Um, first of all, socialism sucks. Second of all, they're hateful shrews. Third of all, they keep trying to throw good money after bad. Uh, fourth of all, they keep letting people like Alyssa Milano and George Takei be their mouthpieces, and those people are slowly but surely turning everybody on the planet against them, and they haven't realized that there are certain people within their party who shall remain nameless, mind you, uh, that are basically killing them from the inside. Now, we're almost out of time, so I've spent a lot of the night picking on the, the Democrats. It's time It's time to shift focus a little bit. We're going to start talking about the Republicans and what it is that they need to do within the next three plus years to make sure that they don't alienate the American people and put us back to being on the outs again. And that is realize we don't want socialism. If we wanted socialism, we'd move to Europe. We moved away from Europe. Our ancestors moved away from Europe a very, very long time ago to get away from the stupidness. And yet here we are again with a bunch of elites telling us that they know better what we need than than or they that they know better what we need than we do. And I just realized I completely blew, blew a break. So we're going to have to take a really quick break cuz I got to make one up cuz this one's going to have to go to the network now cuz I actually blew a network break, which is bad. Anyway, we'll be right back. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host Rick Robinson. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm George Foreman. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at InventHelp. Call InventHelp today for free information. InventHelp has been helping inventors for more than 30 years and has sales offices nationwide. InventHelp can submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. If you have an idea and want to try to patent it and submit it to companies, you should call InventHelp today for free information. Listen, I can't guarantee a company will be interested in your idea, but I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put InventHelp in your corner. Get your free inventor's information. Call 1-800-353-6490. That's 1-800-353-6490. Again, 1-800-353-6490. The following message contains a special offer for listeners of this station. Are you a man over 40? Are you constantly looking for the nearest bathroom? Do you wake up multiple times a night to use the bathroom? Right now, Perfect Prostate is sending out free bottles of their groundbreaking new formula to listeners of this station. Perfect Prostate formula was developed by medical doctor Mitchell Fleischer, and its ingredients have been clinically studied to reduce your frequent nighttime bathroom visits and promote healthy urine flow. Right now, preferred customers get their first bottle of Perfect Prostate absolutely free. There's nothing to lose. Perfect Prostate is guaranteed to reduce that constant urge to use the bathroom, especially at night, and promote healthy urine flow. Don't wait. Call now for your free bottle. Just pay shipping and processing. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Supplies are limited. One free bottle per household. Call now. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. 
Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps stand ready to defend the American way of life. The few, the proud, the Marines. Hey folks, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Dr. Richard Harden. We are on the same mission, which is Waking Up America. We just have different paths. So stay tuned for some information on how you can keep up with Richard and all his work. Visit Richard's website at raharden.com. That's the World Wide Web at rahardin.com. At his website, you can see a summary of the six books he has written, where purchases may be made. He also has a link to 18 videos on YouTube and several blogs about Christian beliefs. If you prefer, visit amazon.com backslash Kindle and type in Richard Harden to see and purchase his books. About that, folks, we had to take a bit of an extended break to make up for the fact that I cut the network short of two minutes of commercials. Because, yeah, in the middle of my one of my little tirades there, we kind of missed the mark on a break. So anyway, enough of talking about that because we're almost out of time. Uh, so just as a reminder, Republicans, enjoy the night. You know, take maybe one more day. Enjoy the fact that you've managed to yet again defeat Democrats. But remember, at this point, they're losing the elections for you. It's not necessarily anything that you're doing yet either. Because most of America doesn't want this monstrosity that now you are trying to shove down our throats. That is a problem. I understand that the guy at the top wanted it. Most of you that have been supporting him are just now finally starting to understand that some of us that tried to tell you that he wanted socialized medicine weren't lying to you just because we didn't like him. Look, I didn't like him, but I wouldn't have lied to you. That, that That's not my job. My job is to bring you the facts. Now, granted, they will be the facts laced with my opinions, but they're still facts. But, it, it, but it's enough for you to make a decision of your own. That's what I do. I don't come at you and try to browbeat you and say, you need to think this way. No, there's too many people that do that. Sadly, most of the ones that do that are the ones that have much larger followings than I do. So maybe maybe you guys like that. I don't know. And I, I don't know. I guess I shouldn't complain because lately things have really been taken off. And I know it's baby steps. But at the same time, the Republicans don't seem to be learning their lessons. Because now we're, now we're doing the same things the Democrats were doing. You've managed to take the albatross that was the Affordable Care Act squarely from around the Democrats next and put it around your own because you didn't do what you told us you were going to do. You're no longer interested in just repealing it. You want to replace it. And by replacing it, your definition of replacing it is basically taking a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, cutting the crust off and saying, ta-da, here you go. Lunch is better now. No, not really. It's still the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But now it's different because you, you did a little flourish with it. That's where the Republicans are right now, and that's my problem with all of this. Because for every step that we move forward, all of the things that w- that happen that are positive, we are still going to have to deal with the fact that they are now wanting to take this socialized medicine monstrosity and hang it squarely around that party's neck. It is time for conservatives to come together. Whether you are a conservative Trump supporter or a conservative never-Trumper, Whatever whatever your particular slant was during this election cycle, those times have passed. It is time to come together as a party, and it is time to hold the entire party accountable. Now, I can say this to you because I'm no longer part of your party. 
I left it. Because I was so turned off by what was happening during the selection cycle that I changed my political affiliation to Libertarian in my state. First of all, because now we've managed to actually bring a third party to the ballot in Oklahoma and actually keep them there, which has never happened in the history of my state before that I can think of, um, at least not for more than one election cycle. But at the same time, we're running out of time. This country is broke we're more broke now than we were. We're more broke now than we were when Bush was in office. We're more broke now than we were when Obama was in office. And we're still spending money like everybody can just fire up a printer. You know, I wish you and I could do that, to be honest. Hey, honey, we're out. We're, we don't have enough money to pay the electric bill. Okay, wait, let me go run out and fire up the inkjet. We'll be good. If we could do that, life would be great. But then again, money wouldn't be worth anything because everybody could make as much of it as they wanted. And it would cost you a million dollars for a loaf of bread. Now... We are officially out of time. Again, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to tune in. And again, hold the party accountable. Whether you are Democrat, Republican, whatever the case may be, hold them accountable. Make them own up to their mistakes and fix them. Liberals, if you truly want to continue to call yourself a liberal, it's time to return to classic liberalism. You know, that stuff that Kennedy used to stand for back when Democrats weren't completely scary people with rainbow armpit hair. And all of the other weird things that you guys have been doing lately. But on that note, folks, we are officially out of time. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. We will be back tomorrow night, live right here on KLRRadio.com. We'll see you when we see you. Take care. God bless.